What's up? What is going on? Welcome to another episode of Hey Mark, the podcast where I'm Mark, get to have open and authentic conversations about things like mental health and self-development. And the reason I started this show is because I want to try and help alleviate some of the suffering that's happening out there in silence. You know, there's some people out there that maybe don't know who to talk to, how to put the words to what they're feeling. You know, they don't know how to start the conversation or even, you know, what it is they're really going through. And so I hope that this podcast kind of shares different perspectives or experiences and allows someone out there to just kind of think, fuck, man, maybe I'm not alone and maybe life can and will get better for me. You know, and that is true. There's truth behind that. But, you know, there always is going to be a little bit of work that we're going to have to put in. And so that is what we're going to be talking about today, kind of reflecting on the last year and how to prepare for the next year. Um, But before we get into that, I just want to do a little bit of housekeeping and just kind of do a little bit of an update. So if you listen to the podcast version of this, hopefully you can tell. I got a brand new mic for Christmas. Shout out to my girlfriend. Thank you so much. And thank you to my buddies as well for chipping in and and helping me uh, purchase some equipment as well for a gift as well. Uh, hopefully, like I said, if you listen to the podcast version, you can hear that the audio is obviously a little bit more updated. And if you're listening or I guess watching the YouTube version of this, you're watching the video, you can see I got a brand new mic set up. And so one of the things that we're going to talk about today is gratitude and things that we can be grateful for. But, um, before we get into that, um, the only other thing that I kind of want to chat about is, Oh, also, yeah, like I started to talk about before last year in 2021, um, I just recently started a group on Instagram. We have a little Facebook group going as well, but most of the conversation happens on Instagram or I mean on WhatsApp. Uh, It started through Instagram. Regardless, if you feel like you want to join a community or a group that kind of has these conversations, uh, like I said, based around mental health, self-development, the the struggles that we go through, maybe some solutions that we found. If we've gone through similar struggles, we can all connect into a big community. If you want to join a community like that, hit me up on Instagram at Mark D. Henriksen. It'll be at the bottom of the screen if you're watching the video here. Uh, If you're watching or listen to the podcast, it'll be in the show notes below, at Mark D. Henriksen. Reach out to me on Instagram. We'll chat a little bit there. And then in regards to Instagram... Fuck, man. Instagram has been hounding me recently. I got a couple notifications this week. Uh, apparently, some of my posts don't really really line up with some of the guidelines that they have here at Instagram that seem very vague, and they're not really letting us know what they are. But um, I've gotten a couple warnings now, and basically, I'm at risk for having my Instagram account deleted. So I might have to... St- maybe, I guess, tailor how I share messages or change the messages I share on my Instagram. I'm trying to figure that out. But in the meantime, I'm considering basically just, you know, maybe moving some of those conversations over to my podcast platform um, just to kind of be able to have these discussions. And I think that a podcast is a better form, you know, or a platform to have these discussions on just because I think that I can better articulate my ideas and I can fully explain them. I'm not limited to just whatever I can fit into a post or whatever I have the patience for typing into a fucking Instagram story, which is typically pretty little. But that being said, uh, I just, like I said, let me know if you guys want to hear about those types of discussions. If you think that you you would want to hear about them on the podcast, reach out to me, like I said, on Instagram. You can leave a review on Apple Podcasts. You can reach out to me fucking through email. Send a fucking note on a carrier pigeon, however you like to get the message to me. But reach out and let me know if you guys would like to hear those types of messages. But let's get on to what it is I actually wanted to fucking chat about today, which is reviewing your last year, reviewing, you know, 2021 or whatever fucking year you listen to this in or um, even whatever time you listen to this, you know, a time of the year. It could be any season. It doesn't have to be New Year's. It could be spring, summer, fall, winter, whatever. Um, you know, just basically... I find myself during like kind of times around the holiday season, the new year season, or maybe sometimes around my birthday, I find myself reflecting on my past year. And sometimes I kind of get a little bit of an ego, a chip on my shoulder, and I feel really confident. And, you know, sometimes that kind of leads me to some negative kind of behaviors in terms of my ego. Um, And sometimes I kind of reflect back and I feel really shitty about myself. Sometimes I feel like there's more I should have done or... 
maybe I acted in ways that I'm not really proud of, or maybe I, you know, whatever changes I'd like to make. And so I think it's important to take the time, you know, once a year or twice a year, three times a year, as often as you fucking possibly can. I think the bare minimum should be once a year. This should probably be something that you do once a month. But I think that, you know, for a lot of us, we just don't really have that discipline yet, but we'll build it. Right. So what does this look like? Right. Like, and you know, my buddy Zach, he's chatted about this on his, on his podcast, Plaid Jacket Philosopher. He's talked about this in regards to discussions that he has with his children. He talks about it in regards to, you know, peaks and valleys. I maybe say usually typically, you know, our ups and downs. And so I like to take a look at the lows first, the valleys, you might call them, whatever you want to call them. But I like to look at the low points first. I like that. I like to think that, you know, a lot of the time I think it's important that we keep our ego in check and we take a look at these negative events, you know, whether we cause them or not, whether we have responsibility or accountability in these in these events, it could be something traumatic that happened to us. You know, your lows could be anything. It could be maybe being fired from a job. It could be a loss in the family. It could be, you know, the loss of a friend or anything. It doesn't have to be a family member. It could be, you know, um, yeah, literally anything. Anything bad that could have happened to you or anything bad that maybe you did to yourself. I think these are, are important to look back at. You know, the things that you regret, the things that you wish that you said no to maybe. That's something that I have to reflect back on a lot of the times. If you're a very impulsive person like I am, you know, maybe you have to think about like one of the, what, what are some of the things that you might need to say no to a little bit more often in the future? You know, look back at, you know, some of these negative events or experiences and think about, you know, what responsibility did I have in this? Like what kind of, you know, how did I play a role in this? Did I, did I control any moving parts of this, you know, experience? Did I basically, did I cause this? And, you know, a lot of the times, like I said, our ego is going to try and tell ourselves that, you know, it's someone else's fucking fault or the universe fucked us over or God fucked us over or God fucking hates us or the world hates us or whatever it could be. But a lot of the time that we have a lot more control in our lives than we really think. I think that a lot of the time, you know, we don't understand how our daily behaviors can kind of contribute to, you know, some of the positions that we put ourselves in life. Or maybe it's just a split second decision that you fucking made the wrong decision. And that happens to all of us as well. But take a look at the things that you could have possibly controlled and then try and think of solutions in the future to not let those fucking things happen again. Try and learn from your fucking mistakes. And then a lot of the times, obviously, like I said, there's going to be times where, you know, maybe you weren't at fault. Maybe it wasn't in your control. Maybe you just fucking got dealt a fucking shitty hand of cards and you weren't in control of the situation when you had this negative traumatic experience that you regret, that you feel bad about, that you're feeling guilty about, or you're still just holding on to and you can't fucking let go of moving into 2022 or whatever fucking year it is. You know, these are the difficult ones. These are the ones where, you know, when we're not at fault or when we're when, when life feels fucking unfair or it doesn't feel, you know... It just doesn't feel right. Like it doesn't feel like we should be going through this shit. I think it's important to reflect on those times as well because we can remember A, the strength that got us through those fucking shitty times and B, we can start to think of contingency plans if maybe similar things or even fucking worse things happen in the future because we obviously know that life doesn't just get fucking easier. You know, a lot of the times, in fact, it happens the opposite. Life gets fucking harder as you go. The challenges that you face become more and more difficult. And so take a look back at the situations that maybe you didn't have control of and think about how you can learn from those as well to try and, like I said, prevent this situation from happening again in the future. Or if it does happen or if something worse happens, think of contingency plans or how you can kind of fucking grow from these, these you know, experiences or these hardships in life, these struggles that you've gone through. Think about how you can grow from them and make yourself fucking stronger so that the next challenge that comes your way gets fucking smashed. And then 
after you've taken a look at the lowest things of yourself or your year or whatever you want to reflect on, you'd look at the highs, the the peaks, the all-time fucking victories, the things that you are proud of, the things that you are grateful for. Like I said, maybe it's a small something like, you know, uh, you got like a 50 cent raise at work. Maybe you got a new mic for your podcast. Maybe you got a new promotion. Maybe you got fucking, maybe you changed your job or you make less, but you found something that makes you way fucking happier or you found a purpose or a passion in your life or you had a tough conversation that kind of, you know, maybe fixed a fucking relationship that was going downwards and it really meant a lot to you. Or maybe you just kind of made a new connection in your life. Maybe it wasn't an old relationship. Maybe you found a new relationship, a new connection. Take inventory of every single thing that you can kind of, you know, look back on and be proud of and feel, you know, grateful for. And not only that, but when you lose motivation, you can reflect on these positive things, these peaks, and these are your things that can kind of maybe relate to your why or even become your why of continuing going on in this on this life. Like Frederick Nietzsche says, he who has a why can overcome any how. So you want to look back at these peaks, these victories, these highs of your year or your life and be able to draw back on them to kind of boost your confidence when you need it. And also maybe discover some things about yourself, you know, and that goes for the lows as well. You know, what did you discover about yourself in the last year? Was it something negative or was it something positive? If it's something positive, then fucking own it. You know, if you found out that you're maybe stronger than you thought you were physically, mentally, spiritually, maybe you're more disciplined, maybe you're more patient, maybe you're more loving and compassionate than you thought you were, and you discovered this about yourself in the last year, own that and let that fucking move you into the next year, moving into 2022. Look back at your last year after kind of looking at the things that you kind of would change or um, some of the things that you regret or some of the things you're grateful for, some of the things that you'd want to repeat. Look back at the highs and the lows of your year and summarize your year with one word. I've always done this kind of thing when looking back and reflecting at a time period of my life or Even it could be an episode that I record on this podcast. Anytime I reflect back on anything, I try and summarize it in one word. And sometimes for myself, it could be pathetic. Sometimes for myself, it could be, you know, extremely awesome. It could be, I guess that's two words, but, you know, I try and look back and just summarize an experience or something with one word. And this could be painting an entire experience with a broad brush, but for me, it provides a little bit of closure so I can let go of that experience. I know the main couple lessons and I can fucking move forward. I can, you know, like I I joke about it sometimes at work in construction. I say, you know, I've got amnesia about the fucking bad days, man. And what I mean by that is I fucking forget about those things. I try my best to. Again, this isn't something that I'm trying to preach from a high horse. I fail with these things too sometimes. And it's still lessons that I'm trying to learn. But what I am saying is to just be able to let go of these things and move forward. Take the lessons and move fucking forward. Don't dwell on these things and just, like I said, Label it with one word, understand how you can grow from it and move fucking forward. Then a tool you can use as well is take a look at another time period of your life in the future, whether it be the next month or the next year, however long you want to fucking look into the future and summarize that portion of your life with one word as well. And so this is kind of foreshadowing for your next year or kind of just setting the tone or setting the theme for the next portion of your life. And so maybe this word for yourself, like for me, it could be, you know, I'm just off the top of my head, like compassion or patience or sympathy or empathy or you know, family. It could be literally anything, anything that you feel like you need to prioritize or something that you want to radiate. Maybe it's just fucking positivity and love. And so that's kind of what you could do as well. Moving into the next year, um, you know, 2022, think about the things you want to radiate, where you see yourself, where you want to change it and move forward from there. Um, in the next couple episodes, I'm going to try and chat a little bit more about this kind of stuff, maybe just about my mindset shifting into 2022. You know, I hope to hear about your guys' experience as well, how your 2021 went, you know, what changes you're going to make in 2022, what you may be excited for. Um, and that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for the continued support. You know, I hope you guys all had a wicked holiday season. Happy fucking new year. 
Like I said, welcome to January. Welcome to 2022. Let's fucking crush this year together. That's all I got for you. Go out and have a good day, a good fucking afternoon, good evening, whenever you're listening to this at, and go fucking crush it. Make someone fucking smile. Peace out and much love. Let's fucking go, baby. Mm-hmm.